what's going on guys in today's episode we are going to be harvesting some habanero peppers now this is my first time growing habanero peppers i haven't done this before uh, I grew this plant from seed and it's taken about four to five months for this plant to get to where it is so far you can see down here we have a lot of orange peppers coming in they're all starting to ripen up here <clears throat> i've had a few ripen up up until this point and i've just used those and pickling some jars of pickles and stuff like that to make some habanero pickles but I uh, haven't had this many yet. So you can see there's a ton of peppers starting in on this plant. There's about four or five right there. If I come over here on this node, you can see there's just a ton of peppers going all the way down here. More over here. I mean, there's peppers all over this plant. As far as you can see, there's little flowers starting everywhere, little peppers, more little peppers over here. I mean, they're just all over. So. Without any further ado, let's get right into this and start harvesting. Let's see how many we got. And I only brought this little cup, so odds are I'm going to overfill this cup. So let's get right into this. All right, so to make this a little easier for myself, since I only have two hands, I'm just going to cut some of these, let them fall, and then I'll pick them all up here in just a second. Go ahead and... Some of these aren't completely ripe yet, but we'll let them sit out on the counter for a couple days and the sun, they should ripen up. All right, I think that's it actually. So we got one over here. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, that's a nice one. So there we got, what is that, 10, 11, 12, little one, and there's one more I left on the plant down here. Let's just break this one off. Look at that, this one fell off a little premature. It's getting a little bit of uh, rot on there. So I'm just gonna add to the compost pile, there's really nothing I can do with it. So there we go. Not a bad little harvest for one plant. Might use this to make some fresh habanero sauce or something for some wings. I knew this cup wasn't gonna be big enough. Nice. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. Oh, knew that was coming full cup of some habanero peppers now this plant really I haven't done very much with I've gave this just a little bit of um, fertilizer every once in a while probably every two months so I probably only fertilized this two times actually so other than that I've just kind of let this thing grow on its own and it has done really well there's been a couple spots like this that have uh, just kind of died off randomly I don't really know why but where one little thing died one little branch died, more came out. And they're still coming, so hopefully this next batch of pepper peppers will be even bigger. And we'll get a better harvest and make some different hot sauces and stuff on the channel, so. All right, so the last thing that I'm gonna do today with these peppers is just kind of sort out which ones are already ripe and which ones are not, so I know which ones I need to leave out so they can sit in the sun a little bit longer. So these ones, I'm just making sure that they're orange all the way around. Those are good and ripe. This one has a small green spot, so I'll leave it out for just a day because of that. Um, this one also has a very small green spot, but I'll leave that one out still. The only ones I'm putting in here are ones that are just completely ripe, so this one could use probably another day, so a little bit of green spots on it. Same here. I think actually all of these ones that are left, yeah. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to take these green spots and just kind of try to push them in the upwards direction on here. So now that most of these green spots are just facing the top, I'll find a sunny place and I'll leave these out in the sun today. 
and then hopefully the sun will help this ripen up. Um, if you ever have peppers that you harvest and they're not completely ripe like these, just go ahead and leave them out in the sun for a little bit. The sun really helps them uh, ripen up as long as it's above about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Say hi, Tips. Yeah, she's a vicious little thing. Let go. All right, so let's go find a sunny place for these. All right, so I'm just placing these peppers out here on my seed starting table. Now, I did just start some seeds here in this. Um, I have a future video coming where I harvested some seeds, let them dry out, and then uh, I got them planted here. So stay tuned for that video to see what I might have planted here. So I'm going to go ahead and let these sit out in the sun here for about a, maybe a day, maybe two, just until a lot of these green spots go away. So thank you guys for watching.